Good afternoon. How's everybody? Uh, why don't we just go ahead and go right to questions? Huh? How about that? Have you learned anything more about Wyoming after? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I watched last night. Uh, PJ's got the scout, and he got through uh, four or five games last night. And, uh, and then I had uh, Kyle watch two games and had Eric watch two games so that everybody got, uh, got some eyes on it, took a good look at it. And so all four of us had some uh, thoughts, and we talked a little bit this morning. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of similarities between our teams. Uh, I, think the, I think the biggest one is um, both teams know exactly what they're trying to get done. And uh, um, I suppose you could say that about a lot of teams, but I, I think it just stands out uh, with certain teams that uh, we know what we want to do. We know what we want to get done at both ends of the floor. I give our guys a lot of credit for having the discipline it takes to do those things and, and stay with it uh, regardless of situation. And, uh, and I see a lot of that same with Wyoming. So without getting into, I guess, all of the, all of the little details of the offense and defense, Gary, it, uh, um, they're tough and they're older. Uh, Nance is really good, plays center for him, but he's more of a power forward, a lot like Seth is for us. Uh, the two guys, uh, a lot of things in common. Uh, they, get, uh, they get used a lot the same way, you know, how we isolate Seth a lot in situations and let him play. They do the same thing with Nance. Uh, They've got a guard that is terrific, uh, scores it in a lot of ways, really athletic, uh, and then a bunch of tough guys, uh, you know, with those two that uh, that do all the right things for uh, for their team to have success. So, uh, you know, I've actually watched them play a lot the last two or three years. I've gotten to know Coach Shiat, uh, and uh, obviously a terrific coach. Uh, but watched them because their their defensive numbers have been as good as anybody's the last two or three years. As you look across the country, what they've done. So I, I watched them a lot last year, just try to pick some things out and add to what we're doing. And uh, um, so I've seen them play quite a bit. But obviously now, you know, trying to figure out what we got to do to have success. So watching them in a little different way. <clears throat> do they play a real low possession, slow yeah. tempo game? Yeah, they'll. Uh, um, <clears throat> if they get something easy, you know, if something looks good, obviously off a turnover, uh, missed shot. If they can get out into the open floor, especially uh, the guard Adams. Um, they'll attack and try to get something early if, if it's there, if it's right in front of them. Uh, but outside of that, uh, they're going to take their time, and they're going to run their stuff and, and try to get Nance involved. And uh, a lot of times they're taking shots with under 10 on the shot clock, uh, and they've had a lot of success with it. I asked you this last <coughs> night and for the fans that maybe hadn't heard you talk about it yet. Your thoughts on getting a five seed. Um, I think there was a lot of projections you had you more of a four. How about being a five? Yeah, I think, uh, did anybody see what Bohannon said? Anybody happen to see that? I think he said it probably best, and, and I mean that. I mean, he, he said, okay, so we're a five seed. So what? We play Friday, and we're going to play, you know, we're going to play the same way. And I think that, that really sums it up. I, you know, technically speaking, uh, there's not a lot of difference. The, the cut line between a four and a five isn't going to be much. Uh, a lot of that is probably how many games you played against top 25 RPI teams or top 50 RPI teams, top 100, uh, maybe more so top 50. You know, our, I don't know what our record is against the top 100. It's good, uh, eight and two or, or somewhere along those lines. Uh, we didn't have as many games against top 50 RPI teams as I would guess the teams that are four seats. And I think that probably ended up being the cut line for us. Uh, but outside of that, yeah, both said it. Both said it pretty well. <clears throat>